Welcome back to the Privacy Wayfinder. As many of you know, I like to use NextDNS as my DNS provider. So I thought it would be interesting to see how often my Graphene OS device is pinging out if I leave this at home. So we're gonna be out for a few hours. Just as a comparison, I'm logged in to my NextDNS for my iOS account. And if you don't know, Apple phones are constantly pinging out to various Apple servers. So aaplimg.com, apple.com. Um, I do not have the stock app installed on my Apple phone, but yet it's still pinging out to this finance uh, query.yahoo.com uh, domain. What else? We got some akamaiedge.net more Apple stuff and so forth. So my phone has been sitting in the house most of the day. I've been outside working on the landscape for, for a new home. And uh, these are all the logs that are pinging out from my iOS device. So even if the device is at rest, it's still contacting Apple. I have no clue what it's looking for. iPhone-ld.apple.com, like no clue what that is, but it's still pinging out. So I thought it would be interesting to leave my Graphene OS device at home, leave for a few hours, you know, compare it to iOS and see how often this device is pinging out. Just a quick review. All of my apps are from Droidify, so they are mostly free and open source. So hopefully I would expect that none of these apps are trying to ping out randomly. And also the operating system itself Graphene OS. We're gonna see when left at home, how often the actual operating system uh, is pinging out information as well. All right, so it is 1228, as you can see on the top of my phone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my phone and I am not going to touch this phone again. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna turn it on. So clicking up here, let's switch over to my Graphene Next DNS profile. So let's go to settings. On the upper right, I'm going to scroll down here for my logs. I'm, I'm keeping the last hour of DNS requests. Let's change this to six hours. So let's clear logs. I'm going to click that. Yes, I want to clear the logs. And now let's jump back to logs and it should be empty. Okay, so we're going to run out, do some errands. And later in the day, I will come back and see what logs I generated from my Graphene OS device. All right, we are back home. So if you remember, we set our retention for six hours. So that's a good amount of time to see how many times the phone has pinged out while being in the lock state. So here's the phone. It's still black. I literally have not turned it on yet. So let's first jump to analytics. In six hours, we have only generated 37 queries. And let's go down. Here's a bit of a summary here. So in the last six hours, most of it was from Proton. We have Proton Drive API 11 times, Proton VPN 10 times. There were four queries to releases.graphenos, and that's just looking for updates for the phone. And let's jump to my iOS device. So I'll click on iOS here. I set my retention period. We can verify that. Same idea, to six hours. So it captured the same amount of time as my Graphene OS device. I was using my iOS device, just to be fair. So on my iOS device, there's 519 queries. And if we scroll down, so let's look at the resolved domains here. There were 41 queries to akamaiedge.net, 23 to appledns.net, 22 to time. This is another Apple domain, checking for time. Um, I was using Signal. I did check ProtonMail, so those two are uh, me. But then we're going back to Apple at aka dns.net and so forth. And scrolling down, this is interesting as well. So root domains, aggregate of all queries made for root domains and all their subdomains. In the last six hours, 122 queries were made to apple.com, 54 to akamaiedge.net, 
51 to akadns.net, 49 to aaplimg, and then 30 to signal. So that, to be fair, was me using signal. And then another 29 to appledns.net compared to, let's jump back to my graphene device. Let's jump down to that root domain section because that's a good section. How many to our operating system? Really only four compared to 200 something to Apple. With Apple's root domains, I have no clue what they're looking for. I have no clue why my phone is pinging out to those domains. I have no clue what data they're collecting. Maybe someone knows in the comments and you can share. This makes me feel so much more comfortable having Graphene OS as an operating system. All right, so let's just do one more thing for fun. Let's start up the phone. Let's see just by starting up the phone if there's any analytics that were generated in NextDNS. We have 37 queries. Let's refresh our browser. So just by starting up the phone, is there anything that generated? And no. 37 queries still. The point is I turned on my phone, no logs are generated. Let me refresh again just to make sure there's no delay. No, nothing. This video was probably a little bit more long winded than it needed to be and I apologize, but um, just wanted to get the point across that Graphene OS really is a privacy respecting operating system. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.